Well, hello Star Wars fans, this is Carl's Copters and today um, on this next project we're going to build, we're going to show you how to build an R2-D2 or an R5-D4 astromech droid as you see in Star Wars. Now I'm going to show you the easiest way how to build one of these and the cheapest possible way ever. Right, I know it looks strange, we're looking inside a washing machine. That's because we're going to use washing machine parts to build one. Now, as we start panning out, you can see here, this is the top of the washing machine here. We've already started and we stripped the washing machine down. And then we used a tumble dryer, which is there. And that's the other part of the washing machine. We've bolted these two parts together. Then with the washing machine skins and the back panels, we've had to stick them together with screws, pot rivets, anything you can do to get them together as you can see here it's not, not going to be perfect at the moment it's just so it can hold it together uh, we leave these skins on and then we'll spray them over with some car spray and put some detailing on um, I've also, uh, if you can see in between the gap there we put a third wheel in the, the bottom but. I'm going to have to re-modify that as I've been struggling to build the actual R2's side legs as you can see they're an absolute nightmare to build at first I've tried different ways uh, I've tried different materials but the best way I've found to do it is make a wooden frame now here's the frame I've started off doing we've got a caster there and then we've started doing the shape So we started building the frame out of a bit of old scrap wood. This is the easiest and best way I've started to do it. As you can see we've started doing the bottom of the foot part. As I can show you in this R2 model. There's the foot part. And then the detailing. Now the detailing doesn't have to be exactly accurate to be honest with you. Because it's only just going to be a bit of fun this R2. And here's another leg. As you can see. Give it a quick test. Look at that. Works perfectly. Nice and easy. But we, this is just. I'll never. We'll pan out a minute and we'll show you more of it. As you can see there. Now, once we put a bit of detailing on the leg, I spray it up and cover it in a skin of metal. That'll give it the metal feel to it anyway. Because I was going to just put it in wood and then paint over it but it, 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 they never look right I've always found so skin them with a bit of thin, a thin metal any old metal will do um, I think this used to be off a cooker or something like that but I like the pattern of it it looks sort of Star Warsy pattern and we'll add to it as well um, so this is it there and then you can join me for the next episode of how to build a Star Wars R2 but just before I do that I'll show you this leg on on the body I'm going to attach it oh, so it's not going to stay like just rest it on there for a second and as I'm panning out there now you're starting to see the idea there you can, uh, you can see it now coming together can't you and for the dome, get the thing, dome here, um, this is going to be a nightmare, I don't know how I'm going to build that bit yet, because I really could do with it being metal, realistically, but we've got to do it on the, on the low budget, so I'm thinking washing machine or a dryer and we'll make R5D4 to start off with, then we'll have another go and build another one, so this is Carl's Copters. Sculptors, and I hope you enjoyed the how to build the R2-D2s uh, spectacular uh, so uh, join us again for the next episode thanks very much and thanks for watching